<laughs> they, they've always had pretty talented recurve shooters, and now uh, their compound shooters are, are shown to be talented as well. All right, in the uh, compound team events, three archers per team. Each shoots twice during the four ends at the target that's 50 meters downstream. That's a total of six arrows per team in each end, 24 arrows all together for the match. And when the smoke clears, the team with the most points will be your winner. So in this first match, this is the compound women team bronze medal match. It will be Chinese Taipei taking on the USA. And let's take a look at the three archers for Chinese Taipei. Wu Ting Ting. The uh, young lady in the middle is Chen Yi Shen. And on the right is Wu Ting Ting. So Wu Ting Ting, Chen Yi Shen, and Li Ting Shen. The three archers from Chinese Taipei taking on the United States of America. And we'll set the lineup for you as soon as they get out to the shooting line here at the Eastern Archery Center, which opened up, I would say, about six, seven years ago and has been a huge boost for archery here in the Intermountain West and even internationally. A lot of teams coming here to train. All right, let's meet the starting lineup for the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, for Team USA competitors, world champion, world cup champion, Jamie Van Atta. And there's Jamie Van Atta, the 39-year-old veteran. Erica Jones, who is back on the scene this summer. And Cassidy Cox, 19 years old. So you've got Erica, 28. You've got Cassidy, 19. And you've got Jamie Van Atta, who's 39. So a wide range of skill and experience. And uh, we'll see how they bring it all together today. Yeah, it's good to have Erica back on the team and new talent like Cassidy. She's really coming up. We have a, a pretty strong core of young female compound shooters in the U.S. right now. Now, in the first two stages, it was Shang in Shanghai that the Russian Federation came away with a women's team compound bronze medal. Then about two weeks ago on Coney Alti Beach in Antalya, it was Italy that came away with the women's team compound bronze medal. Today, it will be either the uh, United States or Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei on target number one, the USA on target number two as we get set to shoot. Jimmy Van Atta will lead off for the United States. And you can already see some of the flags here. The country flags have started moving quite a bit. The, the windsock hasn't done much, but I'm thinking it's just not catching the wind too, too bad right now. So a good start for the United States as the southpaw, the left-hander, Cassidy Cox, shooting second. And as Steve Anderson just mentioned, you could see those nation flags wafting in the breeze. Good start for Cassidy, yep. good confidence boost. Yeah, good 10. You know, the one thing is they've got the, the building protecting them. We've got a wind coming out of the west and the buildings to the west, so shooters have quite a bit of protection, but as the, the arrow travels past about 30 meters, then it gets exposed to that wind. So they might be able to aim straight up and just need to adjust the side a little bit. Not a good one for Erica there. A little bit low for Erica Jones, 28 years old. Who's just returning to the World Cup scene? Wu Ting Ting finding the line. Everybody missing out to the right, so they might they might not be feeling that wind, and they do just need to take a few sight clicks and and continue to shoot it straight up. Li Ting Shen for Chinese Taipei, ranked 69th in the world, and now Chen Yi Shen who is ranked 17th at the age of 21. And there's a 10. So potentially, we have a tied score. Unofficially right now, we're showing one point less to the USA. The judges may call that in when they have a close look later. So on the board right now, it's a one point lead for Chinese Taipei. Of course, that could change. Once this end is come to an end and the judges have had a chance to scrutinize those first errors a little bit better. <laughs> Jamie Van Anna down into the nine ring. So now the 19-year-old Cassidy Cox. 
Who's been solid so far, Steve? Yeah, she's uh, been our number one qualifier on the women's team the last two tournaments. So expect her to perform well here. And of course, with Erica and Jamie and their experience, you know, they're, they're off to a bit of a rough start. But you got to figure out the field. You know, the, the teams that shoot after this will have watched this match, and they'll, they'll have a better idea of what's happening. And you saw Chinese Taipei fire the first arrow outright and then make a quick adjustment. And, you know, then they, then they went out left. It seems like they've got it now. They've got back-to-back -back tens. So um, when you're the first match, you have nothing to feed off of from the from the shooters before you. You just got to try to work quickly through the first end and adjust as needed and, and then move on. Another nine. We're almost drifting outside that nine ring. So down to the final arrow of the first end, Chen Yi Shen. Averaging 9.4 points per arrow. Ten, ten, ten. Wow. <laughs> Pair of tens so for Chen Yi Shen. Yep. So it's possibly a three point lead after the first end for Chinese Taipei. Yeah, they're saying Erica's eight may be a nine, so it, it could even uh, go down to a two point lead for Taipei. but. Should have a yeah, two or three point lead. And way, the American team will shoot first. The American team's gonna have a lot of work ahead of them to dig out of that. We'll see what they what they call on Erica's first arrow. Erica Jones coming back after becoming a mother, taking a couple of seasons off. And also getting involved in the real estate business. So she's got her plate full right now. It's tough yeah. to find time to practice, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, you know, she's probably just working off of off of experience, and <laughs> at a certain point in your career, um, practice uh, is probably not as important as preparation. Being prepared for an event, you, you've you've built your foundation. Now you've just got to prepare yourself for each and every event. And Erica's probably there, so she could sharpen up and be you know a few points better, no doubt, with some more practice, but. Uh, she's not going to fall far off from, from where she normally is. She obviously has the experience. Is it just the muscle memory getting that feeling back again? Yeah, I would, I would say a little bit of that. And, and so much of it is just in, in the head, you know, confidence and trust in yourself and, and uh, believing you're going to shoot a good shot and a good score. That's half of it or more. So they did give her that. Yes, they did. Erica got that nine on her first shot. So the USA with only one ten in that opening end. The rest are all nines. And the big difference right now, Chinese Taipei with three tens. Hence the two-point lead, 57-55. Yep. So Jamie Van Anna surveying the situation, leading off for the USA. And they're going to need to find their stride right now. I mean, sometimes you get out on a new field you haven't shot in, and uh, if you can't get it going early, you, you might never find it. You know, I've, and that's uh, it's an eight from Jamie. Drifted high into the left. And a look of surprise on Jamie's face. It's Cassidy Cox, who shot well with her first two arrows. There you go, Cassidy. Shoots even shot. better. Yep, had to have that one. Another one from Erica, and they, they might be able to keep it close. Cassidy had two nines in that opening end. That's her, or excuse me, that's her second ten. She has both tens for the United States. As Erica Jones oh, yeah. finds the range. Yep, good extra. <laughs> Somebody sounds surprised. Yeah. Do you want me to put it behind me? <laughs> I think Erica was uh, surprised about something, and Danielle's <laughs> having a laugh at it. Danielle Reynolds, their coach today. <laughs> I'm like, why do you have that? <laughs> <piece> <laughs> <of> <laughs> 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 Erica Jones with her first arrow. Oh, Li Tingshen <laughs> for Chinese Taipei, also averaging 9.4 per shot. Chinese Taipei starting this. <laughs> End with a two point lead. And now trying to build on that lead. 
Chen Yu Shen. Oh, she didn't like it. And yeah, equal at 28 through here, so still two points. 85-83, Chinese Taipei. Yeah, not a not a great reaction on that shot. Not not a, mm. a confidence builder. Hopefully Jamie Van Anna can get her confidence back. Shot the eight to open the end. Gets a little bit closer yeah. just outside the ten. Yeah, that one looks smooth, and she's she's looking like she thought she was going to have it. So, you know, good shot. Just didn't go in. Maybe work off of that. It can be hard in a new venue when you, you step out, and uh, if you don't get it going early, you might just struggle the whole time. I've had problems in the, the venue at Shanghai the last couple mm -hmm. years in the team rounds, and the team rounds are difficult in themselves because you're not <laughs> shooting at your regular pace. You're, you're shooting at a team round pace, so you might have to go a little quicker than you want or you know, be thinking about getting on and off the line. And three nines there. Taipei's got an opportunity to yeah. probably pull away and give themselves a good, comfortable cushion. Americans leaving the door open right now for Chinese Taipei. Wu Ting Ting. Not able to capitalize quite as much as she had hoped. Now Ling Ting Shen. Kind of a long hold there. And not the result she was hoping for. No. That gives the USA some hope. But we'll see what Chen Yishen can do right here on the final shot of the second end. Chinese Taipei had a two-point lead after the first end, and now that lead is down to a single point, 111 to 110. Yeah, so three nines for the U.S. actually uh, got them back a point, which is always surprising. You, you always expect you need to shoot 29 or 30 to pick up anything, you know, or a, a 58 or 59, 60, that'll get you some points. But not often you can shoot a 55 and gain ground. And something to be said for consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Just being solid, being consistent. As you take a look at Cassidy Cox, the USA getting to this point by beating India in the uh, quarterfinals, 210 to 196, and then knocking off, or rather being knocked off by the Netherlands by seven points in the semifinals. For Chinese Taipei, they scored a 205-198 victory over Italy in the quarters and then dropped a uh, eight-point decision to Korea in the semifinals, 217 to 209. Of course, Korea and the Netherlands waiting in the wings. That'll be the next match coming up for the women's team gold medal in compound here on a gorgeous Saturday morning. It's Salt Lake City, Utah in the Rocky Mountain West. <laughs> Dry, warm conditions all week. Of course, it was a lot hotter at the beginning of this week. Yeah. You guys started competing, what, about 100, 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 yeah, to 40 degrees Celsius? Yep, yeah, it was uh, over 40 Celsius at one point. And then we're also on, on uh, turf, so probably adds a good 10 degrees to that. But I felt okay. I'm used to the dry heat. I think I was talking to George Tekmachov yesterday, our great uh, announcer here. And um, he went out and measured the heat. He thought he gauged it at about 160 degrees coming off the turf. Yeah, the, the, the turf, artificial surface. turf temperature was, yeah, was upwards of 150. And, and that, that leaves the air temperature above the turf. It can get up to 120, 130 pretty easily. A little toasty. Yeah, it was, it was really not too bad. We had some, some breeze that was cooling things down. There's another eight from Jamie. Amy, or I should say Jamie, opened the uh, second end with an eight, opens the third end with an eight. The USA coming to the midway point of this match, only trailing by one and very much in contention for the bronze medal, but need a 10 right here nine. Yeah. to balance out that eight, and they only get a nine from Cassidy Cox. They, they close this uh, with a few tens this end, and, and they'll be okay, but you can't bleed points when you're trailing. You gotta, you gotta find a way to put the pressure on the other team. Another nine. So Erica Jones. This might just be one of those venues where it's hard to find center. Wu Ting Ting. Bearing down. Solid shot. 
七九二，对。Now the twenty-year-old with a ten, Li Tingsheng. That's a big shot. Yeah. Yep, that one is, uh, and this one here. I mean, they they can put another ten or even a nine in. They're they're making ground. Yeah. It's a nine. nine. So they have picked up a few points, two points to be exact. That lead has grown from one to three. So the USA with an uphill battle here in the third end, opening match of the day. Better effort by Shoot Jamie it. Van Etta. Shoot your shot. <laughs> I got to feel like they, they, they have to have two tens here to close. So far, Cassidy Cox with a pair of tens. There we go. And there there's go. her third. Yep. Yep, Cassidy's a strong shooter. I gotta think Erica's gonna figure it out. There Good it shot. is. <laughs> From your lips to her ears. That's her second 10 of the match. <laughs> yeah, she's over there. She's showing some confusion going, I, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm, I'm breaking good ones and sometimes they're good. Sometimes there's an eight. Well, that makes things more yeah. interesting. Here we go, back to a, a two yep. point game and they've got to put two more in to keep that. So. Exactly. It, if we very well could see an even match here, which has got to be a surprise. Li Tingshen. After watching that eat by her teammate, Wu Ting Ting, trying to pick her up. She's holding a long time again. They're, they're trying to get her to send it. Ooh. Ooh. That's a six. <clears throat> so U.S. now working off a two-point lead. And that's that only if Taipei shoots a 10 here. <laughs> so a six There's a by Li Ting Shen. So 10, yep, we got a dead center 10 there. So U.S. takes a 55 and turns it, it, it you know, it's a three point swing there off a of 55. A huge swing on that shot by Li Ting Shen. And you talked about it, Steve. She was at full draw for a what, yeah. at least, what, 15 seconds, would you say? Yeah, at least. And we saw her do that earlier in the match and, and shoot an eight. And, you know, I, I at that point, I thought, well, this, there's no way this one goes in the 10. Right. But I was thinking eight at worst. I didn't, I didn't expect to see a six. We were just informed that uh, after the first end or in the first end, there was a scoring error by a judge. Starting this end, the score for the USA should have been 109, I believe. Or 169. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. I think it would have been 109 because the USA, we thought the USA had 110. Oh, okay. And they're saying yep, yep, it yep. should have been 109. The correction's going to be made. So that affects the score where we stand right now. Okay. So the USA actually has one less point than we thought. Still a lead. Yeah, still going to have a one point lead. So that's why you see the score 164, 163. Instead of being up by two, the USA is on top by one. So they, they, uh, they did give Erica the eight in that first end. Right. We had initially seen it change to a nine, to a nine. but that was incorrect. Right. Should have been an eight. So the so. USA, instead of scoring 55 points in that opening end, scored 54. Right, and that can happen. You know, judge calls eight, and the, the person who relays the score back here to the booth just... Uh, gets it wrong and, and that happens from time to time i'm i'm guessing the archers were actually aware of it so we got that sorted out and wow dead center good start there yeah you can see the the wind is laid down a little bit so they might not be as surprised with their outcomes anymore but let's see if she shoots a little quicker this time yeah she holds on too long. That was, that was yeah. quicker release. Yeah. Hey, hey, and a better hey, hey. result. Yeah, a nine doesn't kill you. The Chinese Taipei, which had led by as many as three early in this match, now Another trying ten. to fight back. Yep. Good 29 to start. 
two tens sandwiched around the nine by Li Ting Shen. Jamie Van Atta trying to answer. Good match. It's open compound Saturday. And it's on the line. Yeah, that's a 10 for Jamie. Yeah, she's saying, thank goodness. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> she found the 10. That's a good time to do it. This young lady has shot really well so far for the USA. Nice. And yep. continues to do so. Cassidy Cox coming through again. That's a fast shot. That's 10. As my friend Mark Chauvet would say, 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they increased the lead to two, so they're back where they thought they were to start the end. Or we thought they were. They are who they thought that they were. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Inside joke. Sorry, folks. Ooh, that's a eight nine liner, and we can't really tell from here. Not what Chinese Taipei had in mind, though. Yeah, the obviously unofficially being called a well, no, now they've called it an eight nine liner. So we'll we'll have to see what if that even matters at the end of this result. It's a nine. Chen Yishen with what could be the last shot of this match for Chinese Taipei. Depending on what the USA can do and if they can put it away. So nine points and they're in a very vulnerable position, Chinese Taipei. Yeah, the US has got some room to work, so three nines gets them a win. Chinese Taipei ranked 11th in the world as a team, fifth in the ranking rounds. The USA third in the ranking rounds and 10th in the world standings. And Jamie Van Atta nails it. Yep. <laughs> Good finish for Jamie. See if Cassidy can keep shooting strong. Cassidy so far in this match. One, two, three, four, fifth 10 of the day. Yep. And right now, the USA is clean in this fourth end and trying to clinch it right here. Six to win. And there it is. Erica Jones gets the clincher. And the USA takes the bronze medal here at stage three in Salt Lake City. You made my job easy. Of course, the USA taking advantage of a Six by Li Ting Chen in that third end, and that turned this match around, Steve. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, it, it was amazing to me. You see a, a couple of 55s by the U.S., and, and they picked up points both times. And the, the six was a death sentence, but, uh, yeah. you know, it happens from time to time. No, no need to beat yourself up. It's a... Uh, You'll come back and do another one of these here in a few weeks in Berlin, so <laughs> you can dwell on it or you can get ready for the next one. Oh, well, yeah, famous basketball coach you, you and I are both aware of who's always fond of saying you play forward, you don't, you don't play backwards. Right. You play forward, you exactly. forget about the past, you move on, and USA moving on after picking up the bronze medal. And this is an interesting year for the United States because Crystal Galvin obviously has transitioned over to recurve, and so the compound team has lost one of its best shooters. Yeah, we have, and at the same time, you know, losing Crystal, you're using, you're losing a, an experienced shooter who is a world championship silver medalist. She's been on basically every podium.